Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video here on Pastiche of Skin. We're playing Marvel Heroes Omega once again. This time we're here to check out a new character. We're here to play as Electra. So we're going to play through the main story, the campaign, and we're going to try and get her from level 1 to level 60 and build out a character as we play through it. Uh, any advice is always welcome, and any comments and thoughts about how I'm doing it wrong, you can always throw into the bits below on, on live stream. There is a live chat for whenever this was being recorded, but uh, if they say it's on, then we'll do it there. But you guys in the comments, sorry, too late. You're watching this in the recording. You should be watching the live streams. So yeah, uh, patch 1.12 came out. We got our Defenders event. You may have noticed I've already done a box, uh, an unlooting of, or unboxing of these loot boxes for the Defenders, uh, the Hell's Kitchen box. Sorry, I shouldn't call it the Defender box. It's a Hell's Kitchen box. And I was not impressed by its drop rates. It was pretty fucking garbage. Um, apparently there is a change in the loot crates coming. It's oncoming. It'll be in the next patch notes or it'll be in the next patch where they're going to be changing uh, the loot table a bit to get, stop people from getting uh, mats in their paid loot crates, which was annoying a lot of people. So uh, it's the complaints that we've had constantly. I'm just hoping we don't get any more fucking matrix of goddamn unbinding in those fucking boxes because I'm sick and tired of getting <laughs> boxes with two of those in it because they're actually like in the mid tier. But uh, less of my griping, more of my playing. Let's jump in with Electra. So we've just, I've already logged in with the character. Um, taking a look at her skill sets, and it appears to be. Uh, more based around uh, ranged attacks, uh, or sorry, melee attacks, ranged throwing skills with her uh, size and a little bit of stealthiness, and that's actually pretty damn cool. I'm actually cool with that. All right, we're gonna jump in. All right, finish the bit in the raft, so we're going straight to Hell's Kitchen. Put herself into the exact same place where she'd always be in the story. So we're literally just like starting the plot with a character who should be already in this location. It makes sense. It, this is a, this is our first villain. That's been released on the game. Um, well, is there anybody else who actually been? Well, Angela was kind of a villain, wasn't she, for a little bit? Um, but the I think it's probably people's kind of first experiences. Oh, people's first experiences playing as a person you you fought. Why is I just didn't realize? Did it just swap her dash attack to another button? I did not realize that. Well, anyway, we're just going to keep on running through here, getting as fast as we can to get ourselves to the level 10 point with our character. Um, a lot of people tend to actually go towards the patrol place instead of actually doing the missions. I personally think the missions are a bit faster. Uh, the the runaround for it. I mean, you're not you're not if you're lucky enough, you end up getting like a really big boost and you get your ass whipped uh, against a bunch of bosses in the patrol areas. But here, you can just jump straight in, and it's not going to be too tiered over what you can do. There you go, alert complete. I didn't even take part in that one. <laughs> we just take our first couple of loot rooms we drop into. They'll get us up to level 3 or 4 before we actually really kind of kick into it. Um, let's try with some of our skills. So, dash and attack. I'm assuming this is actually dashing through enemies. No, it's just a movement attack. And stealth. I'm trying to think. She needs a valid target, but what does this attack actually do? <laughs> this is a good start. We're actually looking in and we're looking at skills. Marked for death. Pick your target, enhancing all your powers against them. Can only be uh, against elites and bosses. So she has a skill from the top that's designed for boss death? Interesting. She could be really useful in patrols, I suppose, for that. This might be, I might be leveling her the wrong way. If we have already have a skill designed for... Ah, she only... Ah, that's cool. Yeah, she really does absolutely mash those by elites. And I already have, I've got her like with my synergies with a bunch of other characters to get them up a wee bit. You couldn't pay me to do that. It's weird not to have... I'm so uncomfortable with having that be my dash. I'm used to having it actually be the opposite, the uh, circle button. You know, I might need to switch those around. So we're level 3 already. Let's see. Um, got some equipment. Get ourselves equipped up. Make ourselves a little bit more violent. Wow. Shit, that was a lot of things to pick up already. Uh, boots. No, no, that was it. So. Hmm. I'm not, I, I'm not too impressed with Electra so far. I mean, like, a lot of the other characters kind of like immediately feel flashy right out of the box. She's just very... Melee oriented. Hey Hulk, stop throwing shit around. Hmm. 
I like her uh, stealthing is actually like essentially it's a double. You got you get stealth and then you have one more stealth, but then the actual cooldown starts. But the cooldown is slow. That's a very slow cooldown for a stealthing technique. A little middle, it stops you from abusing the shit out of it. All right, I'm going to see what other skills are in here because I want to try something that's going to be more useful than just attacking elites and bosses. Hop in the air, spinning on your three section staff to impact, make way for your landing. Uh, right, so we're going to use that to replace that dash, to be honest. That's, that is immediately replacing the dash. And put that over there. Oh, well, I, I can actually put more moves, and I don't need to actually. Oh no, I only have. Oh, wait. I don't remember that happening. Locking out the second tier of attacks until you're past level six. That's new. That's not good. I don't like that. I actually liked having the four buttons, and as soon as I get the skill, I can actually just drop it on there. At least that actually was giving me an opportunity to play with skills I wasn't going to normally use. Oh, he's already dead. Huh. Yeah, she is really whomping the crap out of these guys. Hop, boom. Hop, boom. She does a fair amount of spin death with that, um... With that spin and staff strike. It's pretty good. It's a, it's a, good, it's a good AoE dash in. Yeah, man, I actually like that for groups. Boom! Up! Boom! Up! Boom! Yeah, that was that's actually it's pretty effective. It's good for it's good for clearing groups. Yeah. Oh, did I get? A, I she probably did get a proper hit on me there. Ah, uh, well, so I'm not too worried about it. Down you go. At least one of us is fast as lightning. <laughs> uh, she does have plenty of sass in her. That's a good thing. Uh, let's take a look here. I've got my new better gear. Get the size in. Get the gear on. Electro metal because it's literally the only one we can wear. Can we put on artifact? Do we have one that's low enough level? I don't think we do. No, I always thought it'd be at least level ten. Here, what the fuck? Yeah, that's not good. The loot cache hasn't appeared. Have they moved where the loot cache actually is? Hmm. Oh, they have? So you're not porting out anymore? Okay. Well, that makes sense. Because the previous one, you actually ported out whenever you actually went and picked up. A new side attack. Uh, deadliest of all assassins, use your size to expertly cut down your foe. Um. Okay, so this is just another side attack. Um. Yeah, what's the difference between that? Yeah, this one... When you hit a marked enemy, health on hit. Oh, so you get health? Oh, so marked enemies actually give you health? Wow, okay, so on top of your normal health on hit, that's actually pretty damn effective. Uh, we've got a range attack now as well. What one's this? We have shurikens. Boom, boom, boom. I don't think I'm going to be really using the stealth too much in this because I've got a feeling that she's not going to play as stealthy as I thought she was because her stealth drops as soon as she throws a hit. But she does more damage, just was wheeling into enemies. Plus, she gains health on hit whenever she's about like a room full of elite, uh, like high elites or bosses and stuff. She just wants to go toe to toe with them. She doesn't want to sneak around behind them and then get like a critical hit on them. She just wants to fucking hammer on them. Oh, well, maybe I may learn that I'm actually playing the character wrong. But for now, this is what I'm feeling like. Excuse me, getting past you. Hey, you. go for a walk. You too. Hey, Splitter. Give me that EXP. I need that EXP. You get yourself to level 10. The wow, that was actually pretty damn 
effective. I like her like her shuriken. It's a quite it's a quite a widespread that shuriken through is. Well, let's get ourselves Britain. What? 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 Damn, that is that is pretty fucking wide. It does do a lot more damage closer in. No, it actually doesn't. It doesn't do any more damage closer in. Oh, that was surprising. Instead, you're looking at it's. I like the fact that it's such a big spread. That's gonna be fun. After I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna probably do the first trial right after I finish this mission. Really, I think that's probably the best bet. Oh, this is good. Like, she, if I switch from my stamina using, if I switch from my stamina using attack to actually um, do more damage, I end up actually, uh, I'll, I switch back and then I'm actually healing up again. So essentially my, on a marked opponent, going from your high, your stamina using high damage attack back to your small attack and your small attack is actually a healing strike, which is pretty damn cool. That's damn useful. Hmm. Well, since we're already here, let's jump in and see if we... Let's take a try at the Heroic Trials, because uh, the quicker we can go into the Trials, the quicker we can actually get into... Um, get well, How quicker we can actually level up, because if I can get as far... If I can get on the Heroic before doing the uh, Cursed Earth... Uh, not the Cursed Earth, the... Um, it's not the Cursed Earth. What is it called again? Savage Land! Then it actually will really, really help me get this through this faster. Although her, um, I'm liking this. I'm actually liking the, um, oh, I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed here. Although that does do a lot of spread damage. I was actually realizing that I'm getting my ass kicked there. Ah, uh, she does stop so much whenever she actually attacks. Ah! That's a lot of focus. Am I being slowed there? Yeah, I was. Ah, god damn it. There he goes. I don't like the slowdown that she's getting. That's good. That's a stats effect, and I'm getting wheel on me. Why is she so? She feels like she moves so slow.
I like the fact that it's passed through. That's one thing that's actually is pretty cool about uh, her shurikens. It does pass through. She feel like she moves so slowly. Oh, and this feels awkward. She does feel like she doesn't. Oh no no no! I knew that was coming. Knew it was coming to you. I saw the grenade coming and I was going to get my ass kicked. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fan. She does, she seems to suffer a lot. For a character I'm actually like taking, but I pumped in infinity points and did actually get a higher increase in movement speed. Electra feels slow. She really does feel slow. Um, maybe, uh, do you know what I need to do? I need to do something that'll actually boost her up a little bit. <sighs> that that did not feel fun. I think I might need to go with. See, flew like water. A movement dash. Uh. Removes crowd control effects. See that does this one doesn't. That's why. That's why I was getting. That's why I was getting because I was dashing in and dashing out, but I wasn't dashing in and dashing out without losing the effects. I was still staying slowed, which would stop me from being able to escape. Yeah, that's not good. Right, so let's see here. Um, appear directly behind an enemy and use your size to finish them quickly. Can only target marked enemies. Consume mark for death effect. Instantly defeat non-boss enemies. Wow. Okay. Hmm. See, it would be nice to have that there, but you don't give me the slot, do you? I think I might actually use that to replace that. So I'm not really using it as much. And what's this? Uh, melee knife movement. Use a specialized blade attached to a chain to cut through your enemies, moving through them quickly. Boom! This is actually our uh, moving circle of death. So we can use that to replace this. So I think we might need to actually put this onto here. And then put you onto here. <clears throat> We're not using stealth, really. Duration of this power, but... Yeah, I was looking at the thing. I was going to see if it's actually... It's going to do more damage than ones who weren't looking at me, but at the same time, it's essentially everybody's going to be looking at me while I'm fighting. But yeah, that was it. That was a good uh, AoE, but it's a dashing AoE in, which was fine. Uh, ooh. Wait. Twice per second. So it actually is... It's That was... Uh, the Blossom of Death actually... Mm. See, I'm actually... I'm still liking the Blossom of Death. I'm just wondering... If, is this going to be better? That's plus 50% against marked anyway, so as long as I'm using that attack, I'll cut a swath. So we'll try that again, but this time with this loadout. So I leveled up a wee bit by fighting those guys, so jump in again. I mean, essentially if I'm leveling up while doing the trials, then what's the reason not to do them? Let's try this again. This time with a... Once more with feeling. Oh, I like this. It's actually, it's pretty effective. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that is actually pretty down destructive. 
Especially with her uh, gain on hit. This is great against crowds. Oh, this feels so good. <laughs> oh, God, I love moving skills like this. That is awesome. I'm actually I'm liking her build so much more now. She is vicious whenever you get it keep her moving like this. This is perfect. Nice damage too. I gotta feel like I can actually go toe to toe with this dude. Yeah, definitely feels like it. You can just go toe to toe with the Mandarin here. Yeah, that was really that was actually kind of enjoyable. Let me just get that out of off my system. Oh, this just uh, this just feels good. <laughs> that feel, that's awesome. The literally just have to be looking at me like you're going to be dead as soon as I'm finished with this guy. <laughs> Oh, Jesus! Oh, this is so much more satisfying now. Just keep yourself moving. Just keep moving. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's actually kind of fair now. It really doesn't feel fair. <laughs> per Red Skull, man. Alright, so this is the build. This is my build. Build towards this. Make use of marking insta-death on elites uh, with a AoE to kind of uh, to clear, uh, clear any mobs that are below that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like that, uh, that's what I'm on board with. That's cool. I'm cool with that. So uh, should I go? Should I go for super heroic? Because that said, that felt reasonably simple. I could just jump the difficulties on this now. Let's give super heroic a try. Wait, oh right, so I have to bring up the difficulty. There we go.
Um, yeah, so with the XP gain, credit gain, everything else, it's actually worthwhile to actually get this character up as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, th this feels like I'm playing with Angela again. That's what it, this really feels like. Okay, obviously it's going to be a little bit harder. Oi, oi, oi! Gather, you bastards! Get closer! Closer you are, the more damage I do. The more damage I do, the more you get me energy. She is a bit squishy. That's the only problem. You just have to remember to actually make sure to mark every single one of them as they come in. So literally you'll just be ready to take one of them out. Oh, there he is. Keep moving, keep killing, keep moving, keep killing, keep moving, keep killing. Always with the moving, always with the killing. And then go toe to toe with him. Let's see what. Let's see if we can go toe to toe with the Mandarin on the. No, can't go, can't do it whenever. Oh, can't do it whenever he actually goes for the big attack. Yeah, your damage output's just not high enough, it feels like. Ah! Down he goes. That was reasonably close for time, but four minutes. Oh shit.
Oh, shit, get around out of the way. <laughs> oh, I burned out and died. Yeah, so I just don't have the damage I put yet. Um, probably gonna need to go and pick up a few more items. Uh, Super Hope Trial, I made it as far as him appearing, but no, nah, that, that wasn't a success. <laughs> what else can I do? Although the technique works, I'm just underpowered for it at the moment, I think, for Super Heroic, but we'll, okay, we'll continue on with the rest of the plot, and we'll see how far we need to get before we actually uh, run into problems. But where were we? Where were we actually, actually at, chapter-wise? Uh, hmm. That's a problem. They say I'm a Have we gotten that far? No. Uh, if we change difficulty, is that what's going to tell me where it is? Because I think I've actually managed to lose where I actually was. Um, Hell's Kitchen North. We'll, assume, we'll try Hell's Kitchen North because I think it was actually the first spot that you get to. Yeah, there it is. This, this is where we left off. Cool. Well, let's keep that sprinting going. Yeah. That is worthwhile doing just for the point of like, anytime you see an elite, just kill one. Just for the bonus. <laughs> Just Deadpool murdering as he normally does. You know, just keeping himself entertained. Oh, wait. Hang on. I'm going to jump went past the mission hub. There we go. On to the next one. So as you can see, uh, technique, as always, is sprint through the content as fast as humanly possible. <laughs> oh, wrong direction. So worth it. Yes, I'm kind of looking at the damage is very very chippy. It's not, it's not enough for proper kind of like crowd control. It's not like She Hulk who literally just fucking ground pounds and kills with uh, the strength of it alone. And I've actually I've got like six percent, seven percent boost on my melee. Uh, Electra doesn't feel that strong. That's what that's what the problem is. She seems fast. She seems nimble, but she doesn't seem to actually just drop the DPS I need. This is literally killing like three elites is actually the same as. Yeah, the excitement that I had for that little trickery is running out. Wait, did I just... Is she stealth while running? She is stealth while running? Oh, that's useful. Yeah. I didn't realize that until there now, that she actually stealths on the run. run I would really like if there was a, a like a snap, a song that actually like dry, uh, did her give her a follow essentially, same as like some other characters do, where you actually kind of like you dash into combat the same way her uh, blossom does, but um, not quite there yet. Boom! Was that two levels in one? That works for me. I took his heart. That's why. Ooh, nice, nice pair of eyes. This is also one of the reasons why I was getting my ass kicked, because I haven't actually fucking put on any of the gear that I picked up lately. Uh, Shocker and Venom, Force Power, hand-to-hand. -hand. If, if, 
Uh, shocker. To be fired. I mean, I'm looking at that and going, like, I'm just letting that decide for me because I wasn't seeing an actual effect that was going to be specific for me. Uh, Superior, Superior Spider-Man. And I'm probably actually ready to do the superhero now, actually. Oh, shit. I can give her a full relic, too. Binds one equipped, though. Mm, not too sure about that. Uh, we'll I'll give her a stack instead. Uh, Rug Xandar, since I've got a full stack, then I'll give. Ooh! To range powers? Mmm. Is there melee one? Is there one that was specifically for melee? Pretty, yeah, it is. It is the. Asgard ones, isn't it? Don't have a full relic of Asgard. Eh. That'll still work for me. So that, that, that's a fair amount of boost, like. Uh, what's in here? Yes, new attacks. Uh, what was our new attacks we got? We've got Shadow Strike. Disappear before your enemy's eyes and fall from the sky, raining down on them with your size. Nice! Uh, blow Dart, Fire, Poison Dart. Oh, she has poison attacks as well. Sweet. Uh, causing a poisonous cloud to erupt on impact. So, oh, we've got a poisonous clouds. I like that. And a Throne Blade. Throw a single side at your enemy with pinpoint accuracy. Oh, this is a ranged version of that other one? Very nice. So instead of porting behind enemies, I can actually... Uh, hmm. 9 to 14, what is this? 4 to 6. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to prefer this instead. It, do, it hits more. That's a longer cooldown though, is it 8 seconds? 8 seconds on both of them, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, Blow Dart, I'm going to definitely throw on here, because I like poison. I like I like poison and lingering effects, and just draw my enemies into a cloud. If I can fire one of those and then start whopping around at people, yeah, that works for me so well. So, um, yeah, what are we going to do? We've got their build done now for her. So we've added a poison effect, which means I'm probably going to go looking for Lady Hydra. Or Madam Hydra, or whatever the fuck you want to call her. So don't have to fight anything you don't want to. Let's try this. Oh, it's not. It is nice. It has got a decent wide area effect. That works for me. Boom! 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 So sounds so unbelievably gratifying about that. Accomplished headband. Here, dude, fuck off. Hey, finally got a headband. Nope. Yeah, I'm liking the poison. Yep, it actually was. I'm liking this, um, I'm liking her focus of assassination. Like, it is encouraging me to attack every elite I'm running into along the way. And I'm getting the XP and the equipment bonus because they tend to drop. They've got a higher drop rate anyway, so. Um, yeah, elite, well worth it. Is that a poison effect left afterwards as well? That I'm liking this. I'm liking the fact that there's actually a side effect poison now. Oh, this is just she does keep getting a little bit better and better. I am fighting so many more guys than I normally would actually play in this uh, part of the game. Boom! And sprinting on. Those 
this is getting a little bit, this is actually feeling a lot more uh, effective. I think it might have been just I was a little bit too overconfident to jump straight in with a super heroic, even though I hadn't actually got any gear of that level. But yeah, it's definitely feeling like the technique is still, this technique is still sound. It's just that you have to have equally balanced equipment to go with it. Oh, that's it's so gratifying. Uh, I just like going like whoop, stab, and you're gone. I wouldn't mind doing. I might. I'm thinking the throw might be useful, but it's not. It's it's not really hitting the spot with me right now because that is a lot more damage. Whenever it's not the killing blow, so I don't mind having the the port in. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything lifted. Yes, you did. You shed all that blood and the guy just took the thing anyway, so you're just it, it all went horribly wrong. Looking forward to seeing what's going to be with this. The messages there. Thank you very much to anybody who's actually watching the stream there, popping messages. Um, yes, we need to go and shut the Ben Urk, isn't it? And we have a Ragnar crate. Woo! Sorry, I was just uh, gonna buy that crate while I was in here because um, it's worthwhile doing. Yeah, that's grand. So, what's our pockets like? This is the nice feeling. It's a nice feeling whenever the pockets are actually staying reasonably not too full. This is Peter Spider Man or Spider Mask. That one's better than the one that I have. Is it? No, it's not. Rings! We got any ones that are fitting us? Nah, they're all higher level ones. Um, and no catalysts of, of effect yet. Alright, let's go and trade, trade off our empty pockets and get ourselves to the next mission, really. So I, essentially, like I said, I want to get as far as the... Um, Savage Land. And once I do, the, once I get to Savage Land, I think I might power level there. Just there's one particular event that's really worth doing it. If you, could, especially if you get some people sitting around you that'll uh, just do a lot of the pounding for you. Yeah, going for a damage. So we're going to no. Do not donate. Equip. Yeah. Wait. What? Ah, right, defense rating's higher. That's what I was wondering there. So no. Nope, 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 nope. Huh. We actually had a bunch of stuff that was actually worthwhile better. Well, specifically for uh, damage, and that's what we're, we're going... We're running for damage at the moment. We're, we want to actually damage output as fast as possible because we can keep ourselves alive. So boop, 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 boop. Don't know why we have a pair of Cyclops' boots, but that's grand. That was it. That's all we had to do? Yep, good. I'm um, just going to check my die and see if there's anything. Yep, Dr. Octopus is melee, so boom. Going in for you. Um, and I'll trade in those three as well, so we don't need them. Um, we will never be needing them. To do it all. Oh, damn it. I'm not too sure if I like this new setup where you can switch from filter inventory to storage really quickly because you could make the silly, silly mistake and actually end up actually donating a lot of stuff you didn't want to. Although, admittedly, that would be just impatience that caused that. Okay. Mm Next mission. So, build-wise, um, we've got our poison, which is a nice AoE. We've got our spinning, we've got our spinning whippy blade over the top of the head, which is actually a good, it's a moving whippy blade, which is awesome. 
Um, ooh, bro. Dune. I'm not gonna let you live. More eternity splinters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love it. Like, run past them, hit them with someone, and then move on. Yeah, get out of the way, you two. You're actually stopping me from picking someone up. Nope. Oh, what was I doing for that? thought that was an REXP one. Ah, Jesus. So many elites. Oh, shit, that's actually really fucking gratifying. I don't know why, but it is like that. That single kill hit is mu so gratifying just to be able to drop in and get that. Mmm, executions. Mommy! I've always hated the fact that, that is a small, a tiny instance, but I suppose it's actually to stop people from grabbing it before it's uh, spawned in it over and over again every time somebody walks past. <laughs> oh god! Every time. It just makes me giggle. It's very good for quick drops. Seeing who gives in first, me or them. Oh man, there's someone just unbelievably gratified. I, I can't, I just can't let go of it. It just feels so good. Oh! Where's the target? My leg! Oh. Every time. Right, we need to take on Juggernaut now. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm just out of curiosity now. I just want to see how quickly can I take the Juggers down. Bodum, 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 bodum.
Give it to the cops already. <laughs> I can't take it. Hey, Juggers. Whoa, no, sorry, not Juggers. Rhino. I completely forgot about that. <gasps> no! I ran right into his dash? Oh, you're kidding me, right? What's the target? You couldn't pay me to do that. So I have to be cautious to about the uh, dash attacks because if I do them too early, I'll actually I'll just jump right in front of them. Right, that's obviously the most strong one. And get rid of the Jean Grey boots. Don't need them. Mm, what? All right. I'm wondering because their movements are not actually. Striking movements? Does that add a striking effect to them? Which I'm curious about now. Boom! That is the horde that I desired. Rank matters not. Only true skill. And nothing worthwhile. And nothing worthwhile. Let's rock and roll. I should probably go and do the trial now before I actually level up too high. So I'm, I'm really well equipped for it. So I might do the super heroic trial after this. Oh shit, yeah, I'm level 32 already. <laughs> In fact, I should take my uh, first perk, I suppose. Oh, I just realized I have a, I've unlocked her synergy as well. So where is our gallant lady? Plus one fighting act. Oh, she gets a plus three versus bosses. So, ooh, ooh, she actually got, well, but that plus three plus the other six from um, Squirrel Girl as well. All right, let's see, who can we drop? Do, hmm. Yeah, Angela, I think I'm dropping you, Angela. Boom, there we go, that makes more sense. And there's only going to increase whenever we get to, f oh, the three, plus three for bosses is Dan. Ah, see, I still have to wait until I'm 50 for that. Uh, oh, wait, oh, there we go. So, apply a mark to an elite or boss enemy you hit while in stealth. <gasps> oh, nice. Uh, slip into the shadows, fully restores stamina. And automatically, and is automatically applied without triggering a cooldown when you're using not even the star, what, not even the star slip into the shadows. Applies quicken to all allies. Alright, so that's more of a, a party one really than anything else. Right! So none of those break stealth? Hmm. Stealth is, See, now her stealth is so much more useful. Yeah. I think I'm going to use that to apply marks. Because while I'm actually... While I'm stealthed, I can actually apply marks. I'll automatically apply one in for me. Or does that actually happen when I'm... While I'm a... When you hit while I'm stealth? Oh, if I if I dash through an enemy while stealth, while stealth, okay, that'll be interesting. So uh, from the shadows, reappear directly above your enemies, focusing your energy into a powerful kick. Watcha! Leap attack. Uh, at my bidding, call forth a chaos ninja to track down my targets that are marked for death. Oh, oh, nice. Actually, I like that. Um, sweet. So that's actually going to replace that, I think. 
For now. Uh, clear the air, spin the bladed chain around you, causing those foolish enough near to regret their positioning. So... When you hit a marked enemy? Oh, weaken them! Nice! That's even better. Um, so I'm assuming this is like the other one that I have. It says three hits, but I'm wondering four times per second. See, it's just a single attack. Yeah. And our signature move, not even the stars are safe in the sky thanks to you. Use your nearly superhuman speed and deadly reflexes to take down targets in an area with incredible precision. Ooh, I do like this. Ooh. Uh, in da one plus one percent damage point in Dance of Death. Dance of Death? What's Dance of Death? Huh. Right, well, um, what can we drop? Uh, shurikens, I'm still using. Dash, I'm still using. Uh, marking, I'm still using. Behind you, I'm using. Poison, I'm using. That, I'm using. This, I'm... Oh, this is actually... This is where it gets awkward. Because a signature move is pretty nice, but it's cooldown's way, way too long to actually make it worthwhile in my setup that I currently have. Mmm... See, I actually prefer being able to mark individually and then attack because I've been doing that to a number of them. I think I might keep it as is, and I'm wanting to use these, um, this chase ninja, ninja thing. If it doesn't work out well, then we'll move on. Try something else. Here we go. This is a test. What's the target? Yeah, chase ninjas are garbage. Don't like them. Shit, that was close! That was actually really close to me dying there. There are benefits for playing on this side. Right, I am switching that out. I'm, I don't like the ninja thing. The ninja thing looks, sounds cool, but it doesn't... I, I thought it was actually going to do the instant death that the uh, other one did. But no, I'll just I'll take the signature instead. The ninjas don't seem to be that useful. You share the same fate as the rest. That is a lot of attacks. Whenever, whenever they're actually poisoned and getting hit by that, that's actually a lot of fucking attacks in one go. So weird that there's just nobody was attacking me there. Will I? Will I really? I doubt I will. I think I'll be fine. Prefer to destroy the living? That's fucking terrifying! She's a creepy bitch! No, my body fails me. We're there. Hello there, robot. Goodbye there, robot. Fucker, it 
it's like blood down tell this is exactly what happened to me whenever I was playing as Nightcrawler as well. Every I would teleport in uh, the assassination attacks are awesome. Oh shit, that was a waste. What's the target? Whenever you actually get into attacks, we actually have that kind of. You couldn't pay me to do that. I have to wait to make sure to clear those out of the way, or like not attack whenever those are uh, characters are using those attacks, because that is a very quick way to die. You teleport right in front of their big powerful attack. Not cool. Not cool at all. But um, yeah, I had the exact same problem with Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler suffered from the the same thing because he actually had a, a teleport in, but he always teleported in in front of the fuckers. Um, I'm starting to realize why I stopped playing at Nightcrawler and why I'm pro I'm I get myself like, overly excited about this for no apparent reason because I'm doing I'm enjoying something about a character I didn't enjoy previously. Die. All right, let's go. I was meant to stop playing after that. I was meant to move on and do something else. I've just realized that. <laughs> oh! What's the target? I've yeah, got to kill you. <laughs> it's one of those things where like, I'm realizing that I really shouldn't be getting away with what I'm doing because I really do keep risking it. I keep actually letting myself Was fight until the last minute. Surprise? But uh, I suppose whenever you're playing PvE, it's not that big of a deal. You don't really pay attention. You don't worry about uh, dying because I'm not, I'm not going to lose anything. All I'm doing is losing a little bit of time. Hey there, dude. What's the target? Goodbye. <laughs> Yay! It was worth it. This job pays enough that I don't ask questions. Never ever think to ask questions. Those are all lore. Oh, those are good. Boom! Oh, wait, no, those are better. Is that better? Which is the best? There we go. We found out which one is the best. <laughs> In fact, it ended up being... What? Oh, yeah, it's that one. Right. 20 percent created damage shield. Oh! Oh! Oh, I love these ones! So, essentially, um... A 20% chance of gaining a shield whenever I get hit. Boom! It only does about... It only saves you from about 2,000 damage. But 2,000 damage on a character that's as squishy as this? Damn useful. Just keep running, just keep running, 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 running. Wait, was that Red Skull? No, for some reason the character's model looked like Red Skull. Oh god, it's all so gratifying about that! Stop spawning me in the eyes to kill! It was such a waste there, lad. I have trained long to use this. I'm finally ready to show it off. 
Tell Hammerhead I fought hard. Nah, you took went down in three strikes, dude. Oh, oh God, it feels so good. <laughs> All right. Do we watch? Here's the question, guys. Anybody in the chat going to decide whether or not we're actually going to watch this? If you say yes, or say no. Yeah, we're going to watch the Taskmaster. Do you crave the excitement of international criminal intrigue but lack the skills to make that dream come true? Do the voices inside your head tell you that you were meant for something more? Do you sit there day after day seething with the need for revenge but don't know how to get it? Then the Taskmaster Institute is for you. Here at the Institute, we train you for a life of power and skill. You will learn seven different styles of martial arts. Plus, all of these ways to actually kick... Oh, does, does it say TV repair in there as well? If you're smart enough to find me, you're smart enough to learn the lessons I can teach you. The Taskmaster Institute. When you I'm the asshole version of Deathstroke. You were <laughs> the profiteering asshole version. Taskmaster opened his school. I hope he taught them the art of losing gracefully. Ah, uh, that's a bit shitty to say about Taskmaster. The, the dude tries. The, dude, the fact that he actually has that whole eidetic ability What's to actually comment? memorize people, other people's moves. I guess might does make right. Whoops, missed. <laughs> yeah! Ah, so it's not it's her dash that actually I'm gonna see. Yeah, she stealths up whenever she runs like that. So I think I might switch out the talents. I'm already oh I'm already on the second one anyway. So while on stealth. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might actually change that up. I don't, so I don't really attack it. Well, I'll do have that stealth for a few seconds after I port, though. So, Flying Death with Shurikens, plus 100% damage. Nice. I just realized, why the hell am I still using the Shurikens? I'm pretty much using Poison Cloud only. Uh, Wave Shurikens, max charges, plus 2. Wave Shurikens, cooldown, 4 seconds reduced. Wave Shurikens, low dark critical damage. Okay. Uh, Warning Death. Yes, 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 that's what we want. Yeah, we want that. And the crushing death from those two? Nah. Warning death, that's where we're going with. And there's nothing in there of import. Oh, good. Wow, there, that was a lot of ringing noise for nobody. Oh no! It turned into a cooldown! No! It ruined it! It fucking ruined it! Please, no more! So it doesn't consume. Nah, nah, not cool. That was cool, I actually liked the idea, but it doesn't. It, take, it stops at maximum four seconds, it'll do that. That's not cool. Didn't like that. So we're gonna to have to switch across to this. Um, apparently, because I'm still using the shurikens, it'll make it them more effective as well. But I'm not really using it. Oh, hang on. Is there something good in here? Got some good goodies? Nah, nothing good. All right, moving on. Why is that so gratifying?
Class has begun. Already level 40. Happy days. Holy shit, is that more effective now than it was? Wow. What's the target? I must focus a moment. God almighty, that is actually monstrous. Do you like it though? I like it a lot. Woo, awesome. Wow. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so much fun doing the um try not I keep calling it Cursed Earth, the uh Savage Land. Cause it it, it 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 does get pretty fucking vicious with the amount of shit that's going on all at once. And this will just be a wall of people I'll just be walking through like this. Holy shit, it was actually one of the normal guys that survived longer than the uh, big dudes. Class is in session. Alright, looks like class is in session. What's the target? This one took out Hawkeye once. Really? How much am I going to have to watch? Another time. I prefer to destroy the living. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to do that. Dunlock, bitch! I guess I've learned my lesson. Contract fulfilled. There are benefits for playing on this side. Hmm. Oh. No, those are better. I got a lot of shit to trade in. Yep, all improved. Oh, that's right. I just got. Mm, uh, I just got rid of my shield thing, but I'll, I'll survive. Essentially, like like I said, I'm just all about the damage at the moment. Right, shield, arrow, sword. Uh, none of these. And uh, it just increases the damage against bosses. 
I think I actually still like having the knockdown for two seconds. The stun lock from that is amazing. I'm almost at a level enough to actually wear some of this gear. That's fucking terrifying. Same with that too. Jesus. <laughs> Definitely at the right level for up, uh, up in this gear though. Hmm. No, actually I'm not. But that will. Be days. Eh, don't really need to worry about Yuki with Lucky Charm. Just checking recording, everything seems to be going okay. No! Get a better piece of equipment still. Oh, yeah, Taskmaster thing. Um, is it better than Spidey? Yeah. Actually, it get it's good for attack and defense. Yeah, so I might throw that on. Boom. I'm gonna get the 45. I can put Spidey's on or something. Right, oh, that's right. I'm gonna be. I keep on meaning to fucking jump into the super heroic, but I'm. I just keep on. Uh, you know what it is? It's because I'm actually enjoying myself, kicking the shit out of things here. That is so fucking gratifying. I, I just can't get over it. It's like, and there's one guy left, and it kind of would slow everything down to wait for him to die. But no, not in this case. It's actually good and ground. It's always that last dude that you're like, just die already! There are benefits for playing on this side. Is that a trench coat for. Gambit that came out of a box for her? Alright. All right, next port, the uh, next porter we see, we're actually going to take that to go and do the super heroic tier. I'm pretty sure I've got enough now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've got, I've nailed down her character. It's just, she really doesn't, like Nightcrawler, she doesn't take as much damage as I would like for her to be standing toe to toe the way she is. It's the reason why I still like She-Hulk so goddamn much. Whoa! God damn it! That caught me off guard. Yeah, he ain't going anywhere. He's glitched into a wall. <laughs> Every once in a while, whenever I see mad shit like that fucking dinosaur popping out of the wall, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, this is Marvel. <laughs> but I was like, where was the hallway of the Chainsaw map? Running, 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 running through their bodies. Nobody can see me. It's all good and fine. That's the, normally I'd be the, the addition of the stealth to uh, Electra's movement is kind of a waste. It makes sense. It so makes sense for a character. It makes fine. But whenever you're sprinting like this, I never ever had to worry about somebody attacking me while I was doing it. It's like just ran straight through them. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. Have you now? Guess how much I've been looking forward to it. More than you. Only one surprise. See how good I am. Fall here. What's the target? These guns aren't just for show. <laughs> Shut her right down in this barrel. <laughs> and by barrel, I meant his car. It really hurt. I docked him with a sigh. Nope. 
Nope. Ooh, uh, I don't have any. I'm not doing teleports. Uh, nah, nah, nothing, nothing there is actually like it's still the Rhino is one of the best uh, effects I have as a solo as a solo player. I think Rhino is one of the best uh, skills because you're constantly moving in and out of combat. You're constantly moving dash skills, and you you never really you. stop doing that whenever you're in a fight. And those extra two seconds you get on every single one is so worth it. Wait, that looked like Misty Knight that was standing there. Madame Hydra. Night. Oh, so, for some reason, the way Squirrel Girl was standing, the tortilla looked like Misty Knight's hair. I was wondering. Okay, so where are we at? We're back here anyway, so I'm gonna get rid of this gear for a start. Get this shit out of my pockets. How can I help you today? Nothing here is worth keeping. No? No. It uh, doesn't look like there's anything here. Yeah, prime trench coat of precise strikes. A blade. I was wondering who was going to own the trench coat. That is a nice fucking trench coat, like level wise. I'm just looking at it. Ten percent damage reduction. That's yeah, good for this uh, for the work here. When I fell from but yeah, we're going to go R2 in that and do this. We're getting rid of the sash. I'm getting rid of any of the excess that we have because they're all fucking. There. Why, 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 why do you want to keep your pockets full? <laughs> Boom! Well, that was a nice clear out. Um, it's just good and grand. So I'm just gonna drop crafting materials and stuff in here as well. Just get them out of my pockets. Wow! Oh no! That's, I was wondering everything in that storage. Wait, what? Oh, right. Ever think that mouth of yours does more harm than good, Spider-Man? Ah, uh, I need to actually drive that in. Oh, yeah. Uh, I need to open this box, actually, while I'm here. Relic Creative Xandar! What did we get? One time lost relic and a cosmic reflection ring. Ooh, I like reflection rings. Wish I had some of that stock nice. Well, that's not too bad. I'm assuming it's actually for my level as it is now, anyway, isn't it? Yes, that's excellent. You're just gonna throw that ring on me. If you love it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting. That's a. I might as well increase my attack anyway. I'm about to go and make use of this anyway. Oh, you beautiful bastard. Oh no, this is like, it's really worthless. It's just credits. Mm. Mm, fine then, fine, I'll take the free shit. Um, yep, we're gonna go and do the superhero tier now and see if it's... Oh, it's gonna be obviously harder, because they, it scales with your character's level. But um, I'm looking forward to giving this a try. I want to see if our technique works better now at superheroic level. And if it works at superheroic level, can we take it all the way to cosmic? Mm-mm, that's what I'm curious about. Are you serious? I can't just do it with many? Boom. What's the target? Wall of death! Ah! God damn it! You need to do that. Two 
Oh, holy shit! I don't think you can go toe to toe with him anymore, that's the problem. Wow, this is taking a lot longer than I expected when you got a minute left to finish him. So many ways to hurt you. Die, you son of a bitch! This Christ! That was difficult. I laugh as the breath leaves your fetid corpse, Mandarin. That's not fun. Oh, come on, this is gonna take. We don't have the time to finish him off, that's the problem, is here. 
No, I can't do enough damage fast enough, I don't think. With this technique. Got a minute left to kill you. Oh. Woo! Oh. That I felt good. Have my revenge, for the red skull shall always return. Yeah, you may return, but I'll still kick your ass. Wimpy, wimp, wimpy, creepy, creepy weirdy, fiercey thingy. Mm -hmm. The funniest people are often the saddest, Peter. Oh, nice. Talk about it. Right. So that feels gratifying. Have the course laid in. We're in the Madripoor. So we're probably going to be level 60 before we actually reach uh, where I think we need to be reaching. Um, yeah, so. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I actually need to remember what the Misty Knight mission actually needs to be whenever I get to that later on. Mm -hmm. Daily Defender. Oh, that's what it is there. It's a listed. Uh, I need... Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Chapter 5, 3, where we are here. Buccaneer Beach. Change difficulty up to that. And select. Boom! Happy days! <laughs> Heading north! Hey, fuckface. You seen Greasy? The target? <laughs> you didn't even see me coming! <laughs> so oh, I feel like an asshole. So worth it, though. Moving along at the speed of knuckles. Oh, wait, what? Is the dude in here? Where am I? Where am I going now? Have I actually passed that bit already? That sucks. Normally that actually gives you a full level whenever you get to this point. It feels weird because it's actually the EXP drops are feel lower, I suppose, in a way. I don't know why. Ah, I don't know why I'm screaming. So many guys to bypass here. You couldn't pay me to do that. I'd prefer to destroy the living. Ah, shit. Oh! That's stun locked! It's like there's literally like a dozen of them all stand here in this one spot. Die, all of you elite bastards! You cannot defeat us all. Yes, we can. We're going to destroy your ass. Oh, that was gratifying. Though I didn't get much EXP for that. Legion. Our numbers are legion. 
Ugh. This is the fact that her, her um... Oh, god damn it, there's too many. There's too many elites all stand in one place here. So I can't get to do like that, my hit one and move on. I have to actually like stand here and maul a bunch. Do you, uh, I'm getting a lot of like equipment drops though. Nice ones too. Uh, fucking hell. Health regeneration, whenever you drop below a certain point. Nice! Oh, and I get spirit for whenever. Oh, that's well, spirit, you know, your um, stamina. Jesus Christ! Why is there so many of you fucks? The, the, they really had not a chance there at all. No chance in hell! Jesus, the amount of fucking elites in here! Die! <laughs> this is like the big guy standing there waiting to actually have his turn. Nah, it ain't gonna happen, man. You ain't getting it. Level 49, almost got my uh, plus 3 towards bosses as well, so that'd be 9% on bosses. You know, 10% increase in damage. Hey, fuckface. See Gracie? That's it. You actually are more of a threat now at super heroic level because of that fucking death kill you have surrounding you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Motherfucker! That was not gratifying. Ooh, ninja boots. Ooh, rare ninja boots. Like that. Like that a lot. Mmm, super heroic ninja boots. Still not as good as the ones that I had, though. Eh, that's disappointing. Those sides are better, though. When you hit enemy with a magic power to vanquish them, ah, uh, see, that's the... That's not, that's not, that sounds appealing, but I, my, my own attacks are actually more effective than that. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see, is there actually a better ring here? Not a chance. <laughs> are we in the better relic territory even? No. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> What I need to do is take a look at my talents. Whenever I know I'm at level 50. Well, am I at level 50? Will I be level 50? I'll put me to level 50. 
<laughs> well, I knew so it was coming. With this. See, see, I'm, I'm, I'm planning that ahead. <laughs> okay, uh, spare none. Mark for death causes enemies to take on additional five percent damage from Electra. Behind you and thrown blade mark all nearby elite. Oh, oh, oh! Jesus. Oh, but mark for death only. You only get to do one of them now, so it's actually AOE. But I do get marking people whenever I'm hitting them from stealth, though. From the shadows transforms into Silent Scream. Silent Scream is a ranged magic attack which stuns enemies and applies marked. Okay. A magic attack that stuns and applies marked. Aren't always the same thing. I like Interesting. That. I like that. Falling Leaf Strike from the shadows and Shadow Strike apply... No, I don't use either of them. Marked to all enemies hit. Yeah, so essentially I can use that instead of using the waste of the move with marked. That's cool. Okay, so we'll, we'll contemplate that it's either going to be change that to mark all nearby elite or boss enemies. So, hmm. so to, I have to to mark them first. I have to actually hit them in stealth rather than actually using that skill. That's a, it's an interesting trade-off. Behind you and Throne Blade always deliver a critical hit if used from stealth. Uh, flow like water stealth, like, so whenever I'm running, it adds another second and a half stealth. So that's useful, so if I actually use that, then I'll actually be able to stealth and mark things. When you defeat a marked enemy, the cooldowns of all powers except not even the stars are refreshed. Holy shit, that is useful. Clear, uh, yeah. So any move actually is reset by it. That's useful because a poison would be so useful to have. Clear the air, second hit delivers a guaranteed critical hit. Nah, that's not that cool. So this is this is where the big talk is with this design. So do we go with one mark and then burst mark? Do we do silent scream which stuns and marks? Or do we use the shadow strike so it actually it'll appear in? All right, I need to check to see what. So I'm going to check the sound screen. I'm going to go to powers and take a look at what the differences are because I want to see what her recharge on that is. Eight seconds. Mmm. Again, some in the form of a powerful sonic scream that can topple even the mightiest foes. So is it, a is it an AOE or is it directional? <clears throat> That's what I'm curious about. And then these. Uh, eight seconds. So, they're all 8 seconds. That's direct damage. The only one stuns and lo it locks down an enemy for a little while, which I do like. Yeah, we'll go with it. We'll, we'll go with the song screen and give it a try now. Um, obviously, we're uh, level 50, so Electra's obviously got added her second half to it, which is a plus 3 damage, 3% 3 damage versus bosses. It's going to be so useful on pur patrols. Uh, even because I'm already getting bonuses against elites and everything else as well. So, yeah. Song of Scream, so it stuns and marks. I'm going to look forward to trying this, but I'm going to add it to my list of moves now. So what, what gets dropped in trade for that? Uh, do I use it instead of this? That's what essentially, I use that instead of that because I can actually do it from up close. And see the way it says magic, magic attack. Anytime you use magic, you can you possibly vanquish your opponent. So much more useful against... Uh, or useful with somebody like magic where all of her moves are fucking magic attacks. Hmm. Curious, I'm curious, I'm curious. Should I actually put that on to give it a try? Mm. Let's see. Let's give this loadout a try. Let's see if Grim Reaper can really improve it. Because we're going to get a better damage against bosses anyway. Because I mean, see, we're already here. I like having the stun because it actually stuns everybody with that movement. 
Does not affect bosses anyway. You take me for a fool. That's a two percent chance. I not worth it for a two percent chance. Nah, screw it. Impossible. Impossible. It's a very close range burst. There are benefits for playing on this side. But it recharges fast. That's right, because as soon as I do a death strike, it actually recharges all my moves. What's the target? There's a lot of shit going on here. There seems to be a bit of chaos going on in this area, so uh, it'd be good to probably move on so I can actually see what the effects of my skills are actually doing to them. They can't tell if I'm hurting people! <laughs> Too many people attacking things! Although that's a Psylocke player, that Psylocke player looks pretty fucking badass. Right, this will be a little bit easier if I go into a place where it's only me. <laughs> only me! We cannot lose. Oh, because it stuns all the rest of my hand, does damage! Oh, I love it! I love it! I love it like it's a goddamn children! There are benefits for playing on this side. This cannot be. I love the fact it stuns everybody nearby too. Die, hand bastards! Die! Is that everything? But everybody? Did I kill everyone? I'm mildly surprised that that was actually that quick. That was a big drop in that box as well. Rank matters not. Only true skill. Yeah, true, but I mean, rank of items kind of looks nice. You know, you get all the nice picky ones that actually don't... Oh, oh I'm not hiking that. It's not fun whenever you get purple items and you're like, oh, oh, not a single one of them are actually worthwhile. Right. I'm liking the, I'm really loving the Sonic shout. It's fucking, it is AoE effective. Stuns anybody who's nearby. Look at this. Look at that. This stuns them. Stuns them. And then I can poison them and I can beat the crap out of them. So effective! This job pays enough that I don't ask questions. Fucking delightful! Eh, yeah, it's gonna go in. I was like debating whether or not do I need another secret room. I really don't. I really don't need any more secret rooms. Do that. That's oh so hmm. It didn't count me as actually using the uh This is beautiful. Literally this is like this it's a three-step process where it's actually Sonic Scream, jump in, kill the elite guy that's actually in that group, poison the rest, and then just stand there and just whoop him <laughs> because you know, like, those guys are not going to be the ones who are going to stun lock me or do me much damage. It's gorgeous. This Love it. Pays enough that I don't ask questions. Yay! Found a better one. Obviously, not in the goddamn right the t the current difficulty tier I'm in, but it'll be fine. Uh, it does its job. And uh, nothing else worthwhile. Uh, they're all ninja. they're all exactly the same thing.
Oh, that's right. Whenever he uses signature, it turns people to stone. This could also be useful. Gorgon. I do like Gorgons for a, a low, a very, very specific. It's only on signature attacks. Your defeat approaches. You cannot win. Why do you struggle? Enough so I can actually get my attack in. Problem is, I can't tell which is his goddamn poison circle and which is mine now. Slapped him out of his move. Oh, it's so gratifying! Oh, it just feels like I just bitch slapped him out of his own special attack. Oh. You were brave but foolish. No, you're the one who's foolish. You're trying to fight me. This isn't oh justice. god, that was so it's gratifying. Ah, uh, wait until I actually open the loot box for this room as well. Yeah. Like, even for this difficulty tier, this actually feels... And like, all it is, it actually feels like it's making me do things, take longer to do things, rather than actually feel to do them. Do you think I shed all that blood for nothing? That's a lot of rarities. <laughs> Boom! Got one of the super heroic weapons, though. That's a good start. Whenever we start talking about super heroic tier equipment. Still none right for that one, though? Yeah. Hey, got a pair of boots. That'll be a good start. Uh, health, brutal strike. Boom, all good. All good shit, man. Did we max out a relic? We did. Ah, oh, sweet. That's awesome. Um, hmm, wait. Hang on. Complete relic of Atlantis can be. Oh, sorry. I was, I was looking there at what the differences were on them. So what are we at now? Oh shit, yeah, everything's now available. Um, let's see what is worthwhile really drops. Oh, attack speed. Jesus Christ, that's actually pretty... That's pretty boosty right there. Just because they're in the speed of her attack as is. Hmm. So extra health. When you are attacked, gain five. Oh, reflect rating. When you're in your movement power, gain thirty percent move speed. When you use a power, gain extra speed. Let's see, I'm trying to think. Is extra stamina good, or just health when you kill? I think I need the the stamina is actually the better one for me because essentially it, it means I can do my spinning attack for or my spinning around attack for longer. You only use your signature, turn your enemy to stone. And make them vulnerable for five seconds. Ah, it's so good though. So good. But I prefer the movement, the knockdown for two, rather than actually stun them with vulnerable for six. So it's a hard choice. It'll probably be better for bosses. Whenever, if I was going up against... Um, I don't think it works on bosses, but like on Doom or Bullseye would be a good example because I fucking hate fighting Bullseye. I always fucking hate fighting Bullseye. We're almost at level sixty, by the way, folks. Like this is this is fast for chapter levels, but I mean, part of it isn't parts of it is because I was doing my ridiculous kind of like attack every elite I see because I know I can kill them in two hits.
something just really gratifying about doing that. How is this possible? Ha! <laughs> so fucking gratifying! Oh god, I love it too much. What's the target? I literally had to wait an extra second there because I got, I've been doing it too fast. Show me your leaders so I can kill all of them. <sighs> gratifying. So gratifying! It does remind me that she is weak otherwise. Hey, fuckhead. You seen Gracie? <laughs> I was gonna do it! <laughs> oh, the PvE sections are gonna be so much fun to do. Oh. <laughs> I just launched him in the goddamn sky. for the hand. I don't know what these orders for the hand are. I've been getting a fair amount of them in my pocket. I'm going to be I'm curious to find out. Ooh, what's there? More, more orders of the hand? More orders of the hand. You couldn't pay me to do that. What's the target? Nothing in the contract about picking this up. I will be avenged. <laughs> You'll be avenged by what? Oh god, that's just, just too much fun just doing that. You couldn't pay me to do that. Oh, this one's just so gratifying about this. Hang on, did I actually... How did I manage to get him as well? So... It's a, I could just sit there all day just doing that to those guys? Hang on. Oh. I just feel like I'm just abusing the shit out of this now, just to actually get myself to the max level. Oh! What happened? Okay. <laughs> I was wondering here, our screen just went screwy for a second on the, on the broadcast. That was mildly terrifying for just a second. Oh, there's an Angela here. No wonder everything's dead. Oh, that was Iron Fist. I was like looking there going, what the fuck just happened there? It was Iron Fist's um, ultimate or signature, probably. Impossible. He's like, guys, you're just going to get your asses whooped again. Come join me in the poison. Make this a little bit faster. Anything that gives me the chance to do that one after another is fucking glorious.
Those amateurs won't know when. Alright, oh, so our last one. Uh, at my bidding, no longer breaks stealth. Alright. Restores all charges of flow like water and does not consume marked. Right, so now that, well, now that, that makes that moveset a little bit more effective. Um, summon a, summoned ally. Chased warrior. Summoned when entering combat. Number of summon two. Duration 30 seconds. Sword slashed. Oh, so it's actually literally just a summon? Okie dokie. Chase Mystic Summon. Okay, so Mystic Blast. Mmm. Mmm. So I can actually get a Summoned Healer or Summoned Warrior to attack for me? Interesting. The 25% of your maximum health. Oh. So, which do I need? Do I want to do more damage than I am now? Or do I want to make sure I'm healed? I think I'm going to go with damage for now. That sounds really interesting. This is something I don't have to add. It's just it's free damage. Christ. The, the Electra's got a really good loadout. This is actually... This is very... It feels a bit... It's not OP. It's like it does feel on tier with Angela's um, ribbons. Though. Her ribbons can purposefully can, like, just screw any group fight. But where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be going up here. Low town, a festering boil on the hill that is Madripoor. Feels on the like hell end. of Madripoor. What level am I? I'm 56. Jesus, H. Christ, I'm only at Madripoor. Well, that's pretty good. That's that's pretty badass. Um, we'll hit the one. If we ding it, we'll ding 60, and then we're going to go and do the defenders. Um. Side mission, so we'll do that as actually a separate territory. video, but it's just to show the quick path to Welcome 60 to with Electra and the moose sets that come along with. Mm -mm -mm. Ah! Bye! <laughs> Never be I just really—I thought that was like an ice man that was actually like chill, doing Nothing a really shitty job of killing those guys. That's my dudes. Oh, I love my dudes. Fuck, they just keep fighting, even though. Wow. I don't even have to attack anything there. I gotta be fucking frustrated for anybody who's actually hunting the leads. Those guys are a little bit annoying that they now are my full aggro situation. A bunch of people were poisoned by that! Oh man, that's brilliant. You cannot defeat us all. That's terrifying. <laughs> I'm actually I'm gonna go and do Lady Hydra here because um I'm really curious to see how her medallion affects the poison. It's more it is more effective than the stun in long term because essentially I can hit and run.
she is making it a little bit harder for me to take her down though, that's the only problem, because... Wow, she is a lot harder than she needs to be. That felt a lot more stressful than it needed to be. Um, yeah, that, I'm, I've filled the fuck out of my pockets. <laughs> oh, there we go. Someone more effective. That's, oh, God. So terrifying when we see a weapon. They're like, oh, that, that's actually a lot lower class weapon and still better than this. Alright. And uh, two. And three. I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna get rid of you. Oh, wait, hang on. These are... Yeah, that one I can get rid of. I'm telling you it's a rarity, it's, it's just worth it for the actual trade-in, so I'll hold on to it just for the purposes of donation. Uh, yeah, those are better. Sweet. So many headbands! Keep on clearing, keep on clearing. Well, that's what we came in here for. And there was not a better headband on the floor. Here, whenever that happens. So, Madam Hydra. Hitting one point that severely debilitates enemies, leaving them weakened, vulnerable, and increasing the damage they take by 10% and reducing the damage they deal. And I get movement speed. Oh, and plus 5% movement. Yep, yeah, fucking right, I'm taking that. Yeah, the only thing that actually beats that is Gorgon, and that's using the signature thing, so I don't care. Um, so that exactly, see what happened with that previous fight? I was able to kite around and kill elites that she was summoning in, while the ninjas were doing all the damage for me. Jesus Christ, flying over there. That is the sound of me getting stronger. Get used to it. I am woman, hear me roar. It's a big ass pocket full of sashes. Nothing! Jesus! Well, I got what I wanted, that's the important thing. Movement speed is up by another 5%. I can sprint! She does feel nippier with that extra 5% even just. Funny. I was just thinking oh, there you go. Fuck, that means that's a Yukio... Uh... Lucky Pendant at level 57. 
Nobody! I'm never going to put that on a character! Wait, what are we at at the moment? Like this? Hang on, I'm just going to see here. Trials. Yeah, I can't go to Cosmic unless... Um, I'm actually... I have to complete the story to go Cosmic. Which is... Yeah, yay. I'm going to have to go and fight Doom. I, the thing is, I'll go and fight Doom at the lowest goddamn level so then I can then fight them, fight the actual end game. Or fight the trial at Cosmic. Our months are endless. What's the target? I have my own ninja clan fighting for me. God, that is gratifying. Normally I would already be out of this, but I'm just I'm out of this area, but I'm just enjoying watching my ninjas kicking ass. Oh, dude. I need to get the ninja death call and actually have more ninjas on my side. I need to grab that flourish. I mean, they don't have much energy, but god damn it. Oh, you fuck. I didn't even know you were hiding over there. Ugh. I'm waiting. Oh, I just forgot. I can do that. And do that. All I have to do is stealth and I can actually mark somebody. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. I don't even have to wait for that to recharge. So that's what I was concerned. Oh, wait. Hang on. There you are. Boom. Hi. Hi. <laughs> that's so much death. No, you didn't. You didn't fall with no goddamn honor. You fell like a sack of shit. Don't you run from me. And where do you suppose I would keep it? I don't know. Jesus. It's a never ending war. Never ending war, I'm telling you. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go through this way. We oh, Oh, so gratifying. Oh, it's, it, it, it is mildly euphoric, that feeling I'm getting from doing this. This cannot be. I think he's gonna keep spawning him because I need to take a second to empty my fucking pockets again. Get the fuck out of my hands. Ugh. Our numbers are endless. Really, are they? Because so I don't seem to actually be seeing. Oh, well, I thought it might be my guy saying it after 30 seconds of combat. Here, what the fuck? Alright, I thought I was actually running, but I wasn't. Oh, God, so gratifying. Oh, there's the dude. Impossible. Every time it feels so good. Hey! Pfft, gone. Bam! And the cunt is gone. I'm tempted to switch over to the size one night just because it means I don't have to actually like get close to them because I'm doing it that often. I don't know who you are, imposter, but you will scream for death before the end. Oh my god, that's so gratifying. Fight 
Mighty, it just feels like a wall of chaos sometimes now. <laughs> but every single thing works. Like the entire plan works. It's just that I like, gotta keep an eye on the health. Um, I think I might switch over to the Mystic because I'm the kite and the guys and having those ninjas fight is good. But I'm not too sure if it's actually doing enough damage to make it worthwhile because they're just attacking individually. And like I said, I need to get a floor. I need the ninja call floor so I can actually have four of those guys on. Let's butt fuck the resolu or butt fuck the frame rate whenever that shit's going on. Oh, I haven't changed any of this. See where it is. There's actually a level 41. Item grade 50. Item grade 51. A level required. Oh, so it's still not required. It stays in the opposite story base. That's why. Oh, I get ya, I get ya. Level 58. Ooh, Ring of Brutality. Fucking okay, hell. Another 225 to that move. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. It, it, it doesn't help. It makes me attack more, but it's really not helping my bone, my defense in any way, shape, or form. Alright. I need to empty pockets. Jesus. Alright, and none here is actually. Electra. Can't even pick up scrap. Jesus. Lowest quality thing here. Fucking hell. The drops, anyway, seem to be increased. <laughs> I'll take you with. Yeah, I'll take you where, wherever you need to go, lady. Uh, loading times. Well, at least now we can drop off some of this garbage. And we've only got two more levels to go before we maxed out the damn thing, so... Whatever rank you hold, Danvers, you are still a puppet. Right, nothing here worthwhile? No. It's not Sharpshooter Tunic. Doctor Strange. Probably like the second or third thing I've ever actually gotten for Strange at all. Nothing there that was worthwhile. 17,000 XP just for that one fucking boulder. <sighs> so easy to map these boys out. So, next melee power deals 10% more damage. Your Stealth for two seconds. <laughs> that's nothing. That's, that's nothing for what we need. Alright, so... That's a lot done. Now to drop off some of the stuff in storage that are all the... Crafty, crafty bits. Q. 
Okie dokie. That got us back to about 40 items in our pockets. That's as little as we needed. So let's see where we're going next. Get where are we? To, to Madripoor! Of course it was to the Madripoor. <clears throat> so we're not even going to make it to the Cursed Earth. Um, we're not, I keep saying Cursed Earth. Jesus! I've got what I must have Judge Dread on my brain. I have no idea where I'm going. This is the way, right? Cross it. Right. What's the target? You couldn't pay me to do that. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I'm stealth, and then I immediately just smack him in the face, and he's dead. You clearly aren't ready. I don't know why, but I just decided I had to fit see if that particular agent. Oh god, this is so so satisfying. Rank matters not, only true skill. I will be avenged. Following the people, following the people. Wait, what? All right. Uh, I was just looking there going like, wait, am I, I am going the right way, right? I don't know why I must, I felt like I was getting a flashback. More Hydra outposty goodness. You cannot. You can't see me, you can't, ooh. Oh god, that was so gratifying. Yeah, that's a, that's a feeling I would have whenever you're getting attacked by three ninjas at once. Well, you demand. for playing on this side. I get to kill all the bad guys I want. <sighs> that feels too good. Just too good. Oh! Well, maybe some pleasure. Oh, making our assassinations based on stamina is so hot. Oh! Get out of the way, bloody plebs! Not a single one of you are Bob, so I don't care about what happens to you. Oh, yeah. Look at the out there. God, this is so much fun. Hydra shall never be destroyed. Death has come. Wait, what the hell? How did this happen? It feels. I mean, I. I'm obviously playing through a same bit again. I don't, I don't remember why. Did I do something weird? How does that feel, hero? The Grim Reaper brings only death. Keep fighting. Fight to your last.
Damn it! This isn't justice. It's business. How did I end up in the wrong place? Impossible. Impossible. Yeah. What in? Wait, what the fuck happened? Something went horribly screwy there. How did I end up back here? So our path only leads to more bloodshed. Yeah. So how did I end up back? I, I feel like I've actually traveled back in time, and I'm back doing chapter three of the story again. That is a weird ass glitch. It's like I've already done. I did the hand tower. And, I was meant to go on to Lori's side. Alright, fine. I had so much fun the last time down here, I'm gonna enjoy it again, but that was Electra, surreal. Is that like two drones that he has fallen all the time? Jesus. It's unnecessary. Oh, ooh. One for you, one for you, one for you. Good drops. Hey fuckers! I feel so bad for my ninjas there. Like, stand there going, like, we want to help. Oh, we want to help. Oh, dude. Here, fuck it. Come here. Our numbers are endless. <gasps> oh, dupe, you fuck. Dupe managed to get away? That's the first time Dupe's managed to escape me in so long. Where is... Where am I meant to actually be going now? I still feel like I'm actually kind of like at a loose end. Spawning in, I keep killing them. Be. I continue to look at that and go like, uh, uh, I've already fought Gorgon. I've already. It literally just looped me back another chapter instead of continuing on. So weird. Did I just—I I did the wrong thing. I spoke to the wrong person. That's essentially what I did. I must have been. There's no reason for it to actually have taken me here otherwise. Anyway, um, I just need to go through this because apparently it now looks like I'm actually having to play through these mission. This mission again. Oh well. I had my fun the first time. No, 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 we're just doing it for speed now. We're just expediting ourselves through. Oh, shit, hang on, I wanna do that. It's just too many of them stand together that actually made it too worthwhile. What's the target? Oh, there was that chest before. 
Hey! <laughs> that was the chance that took me to 60 as well. Oh, uh, gorgeous. That was fantastic. So we'll go up this way. This is where we're meant to be. Ah, oh, shit. There you go. <laughs> this is like they pop and they just leap into the air. Uh, right. Fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll continue through this bit. It is still tracking me as actually saying I'm doing this chapter, yeah? Can I just go and do this bit now? Can I? Well, we're, we're at level 60. This was the point. I'm, I'm, I'm mildly perturbed the fact that I had to reboot over, I'd go over a separate section for my, um... Defeat hand enemies? Defenders? Oh, so I actually just need to kill more hand? I literally have to kill one more hand. Find me a hand. Only well, had to kill one more hand member to actually be able to put it over the top of the dealing. Oh, uh, that's brilliant. Our are endless. So well timed. Hit my 60 with Electra. Finish my daily. Ah. Uh, feels so good. We're just we're just gonna go back. Oh, screw this. I'm just gonna teleport back. <laughs> Leave my ninjas there behind. Just body slide by one. Right, so we've carried Electra from 1 to 60. Uh, we've unlocked her ultimate. I think I found a comfortable layout. If you want to give this a try yourself and tell me ways that you would be able to improve it, because at level 60, I think she's best off with this setup of the sound screen, which uh, will help you knock out enemies. The switch out on bleed to death, where they um, are. Uh, what's it, what are they called? Oh. Wait, what was what's that one? Apply a mark to any elite you hit while well in stealth. I like I still kept that on because it was kind of useful to have uh, behind you and break stuff. So from the shadows, transform the sound, scream. Damn useful, really important to have uh, when you defeat a marked enemy. The cooldowns for all powers except, which is perfect. So if you mark an enemy, kill an enemy, mark an enemy, mark an enemy, kill an enemy, mark an enemy, kill an enemy. Perfect. It's really really good for actually like, chaining a series of elite deaths back to back. This too pretty much rock your balls for um, uh, for oh, for attacks, okay. for actually being able to do your instant kills. You can wipe out so many things with this combination of two together in a uh, in most of the PvE story modes. So like if you're just like, killing smaller mobs and elites, it's a great way to actually go farming, I imagine. Um, do, uh, farming at Cosmic with this, whenever you're taking down elites to find objects from them, rather than actually not your boss farming, but you know, like you're getting your objects and anything else. That might actually be worthwhile doing. So if you correct me on that and I'm completely wrong on that, please do. But these two are fucking amazingly great Everyone together. Because that will actually hit more than What's one at once. Give you the opportunity to actually mark somebody who can easily be killed. Then move on to the next one, move on to the next one. While stunning your enemies around you. Man, if, you, if I threw Gorgon on that and did the stun for five seconds. Or put back on Rhino where it actually stun locks him for every, every five seconds for two. So worth it. And uh, Wars of the Chase, I'm not too sure, I don't know if this or the Medic medic with uh, Magical Attacks might be better. When you only get one of them, you get two of these guys, two dumb for doing 4,000 damage per hit, meanwhile one doing 4,000 but being able to heal you if you get into trouble. Interesting combination. Uh, the Dance of Death, wheeling those Cursor, what was it? Oh yeah, Kusari Gammas. I'm going to use that just to actually do one more thing, but first we're going to go and chat to Misty Knight and, um, and in our quest for the day. That's right, it's Misty Night. Hero's job is never done, sugar. Keep beating down the hand and intercept the orders from the hand. We've got to send them a message that they will understand with our fists. Damn right. Alright, there we go. That's what it was, I had to go and chat. Ah, uh, that's why I went horribly wrong, because I was meant to come down here and chat to Ben Eric. And that was the reason why the story got left behind. But yeah, um, what you get for doing that is a Hell's Kitchen loot box. Um... 
going to open this. Oh, I got one for actually completing the character as well. We're going to open the Hell's Kitchen loot box just as the fact that we did uh, level 1 to 60 on Electra and it makes sense for her to make it here. We're going to see if we get on interesting. I haven't, I'm going to do another box drop of this before they go away and after the patch comes through to see what's the difference. But the last time we're doing this, we did 25 boxes. Got seven costumes. All of them were uh, base costumes. They're all like simple costumes. None of them were the cosmics or the rares, the ones that you really wanted. And I got one costume that I didn't already have. All the rest were duplicates. So what's going to happen with this one? Let's see. War Marvelous Essence, a minor experience boost, Ionic Particles, a large character experience token for the beast, and a random hero ultimate gift. That feels exactly like I got most of the time. I was looking at these previously, and that's that's not that's not a bad crate. But I really wanted to see what they're going to do with the new crates after this. But uh, yeah, that's that's Electra one to sixty. Um, we'll go. I'm just going to go in and uh, use her. Just go into a fight and see her special, her ultimate, because <laughs> literally no need to do anything else otherwise. Um, go to Lower East Side, and we'll see. We're just going to go and. Do your ultimate, and then we're going to just leave it at that because I haven't seen I haven't seen it in use yet, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. Can get nice and close. Oh! To oh! It is a static one. You can't move with that, but it's a good wide range and it does a fair amount of damage. I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, that's that's a pretty that's a pretty decent super for like a big wide range of uh, area effect. Be useful in pe um, patrols. Um, that was like really all I needed to see with that character. Cool. That's everything from one to sixty with Electra. With all my opinions, thoughts on the character as well. Uh, this may be a fairly longer video, but I thought that'd be the best way to do it. I thought I was gonna have to do the defenders thing separately, but obviously I went and completed it as I was going through it there. So everything ran with Kismet, and we can't do anything better than that. So uh, yeah, let's jump. Uh... I am the only true Electra. Oh crap! I didn't mean to do that. I teleported her back to where I was actually previously at. Well, that's fine. I'll just run her, run her into a corner here. Can we see if it's sound? Well, we do. This up on the screen, and I turn around and say to you guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this in any way, shape, or form, and you like to watch more material here on uh, Passage Your Skin that's related to Marvel Heroes Omega, then please do hit the subscribe button and come and watch us at any time. You're more than welcome to do so. I thank you very much for watching. Um, if you don't do the subscribe thing, completely understand, all you have to do is just go and memorize the name, pass your skin, just search for it online, it's the easiest way to find me, I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape or form, you should have a good time and you should enjoy yourselves. And if you haven't been watching this on YouTube, boom, there'll be a button up here, there'll be a playlist here, there'll be the most recent video over here, and right here will be a video just for you, based on the user analytics and things that you do on YouTube, it will pick a video from my own oeuvre, and it'll put it right here, and it'll be the one that you should watch. That one looks pretty cool, so I'd highly recommend you watch it. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.